Hey again, everyone. I've had a few people reach out and ask if they could fine-tune the Your TTS text-to-speech model using the script I posted a few weeks ago for fine-tuning the VITS model with your own voice samples. Unfortunately not, and I've been poking at Your TTS since it was released, but couldn't figure out how to get the fine-tuning working. It looks like I may have been tripped up by some bugs that were fixed in a recent release of the code for Koki TTS, though. As of this video, Koki TTS is up to version 0.10.1, which is good to note in case something breaks in the future. This is just going to be a quick tour of the Google Collab script that I put together, the Python script which is a modified version of the training recipe from the Koki TTS GitHub repo, and a quick look at loading links and generating text using the command line tool. Alright, enough of me rambling, let's get to the script. This is going to fine tune the Your TTS model using the Koki TTS framework. Most of the code here is adapted from the training recipe you can find in the GitHub repo. For this, you're going to need some audio samples. It sounds like in theory you could use as little as a minute of clear spoken word, but I haven't tried fine tuning with that little yet. I wanted to get this script out as soon as it was working, so I haven't done a ton of runs yet, but I've had good results with between 4 and 10 minute audio datasets. You'll need clear, single speaker audio files in WAV or MP3 format. They'll be processed and converted with the script and run through RNN noise for noise removal. The script will generate transcripts for your clips, but you're going to need to download and review your dataset before using it for training. There may be clips of noise or silence and incorrect transcripts. A few typos here and there won't cause too much of a problem if you have a large enough dataset, but nonsense clips will really screw things up. The script uses Google Drive to store model checkpoints and work with the dataset. Files here on your Google Drive are preserved between sessions, but files stored in Colab will be deleted when your session disconnects. Run the first cell to connect your Google Drive account by accepting the pop-up window. In the next cell, set your dataset directory. The trainer output directory is where the model checkpoints are stored. All of these can be left as default if you like. Run the cell to set the variables and create the directories. The next cell will download and build RNN noise and its requirements. Later on we could use a bit of wrapper code to execute the demo tool that's built here to denoise the audio files. Run the next cell to install SOX and OpenAI's Whisper text-to-speech and translation framework. Once that's done, run the next cell to install Koki TTS, eSpeakNG, and clone the Koki to GitHub repo. Upload your audio clips for each voice you are training to individual subdirectories under your upload folder. Use a single word to name them and don't use any wild characters because there's no error handling in the script. Set the name of your upload directory subfolder in the next cell and name your voice. If you want to make your life simple, you can name them both the same thing. The next cell will convert, split, and copy your audio clips. It's currently set to split on silence with a 0.2 second audio gap. If you want to adjust this or force splits to a fixed length, click the show code button and then find the section commented with a pound sign. To process additional speakers, go back to the cell above and change the name and directory. Run that cell again and then run the processing cell. Run the next cell to list the dataset audio file directories and then set the name of the directory you want to process. The next cell will download and load the medium English whisper text-to-speech model. Reloading the Whisper model tends to crash Google Colab, so run this cell only once. The next cell will transcribe your audio clips and place the files in a subdirectory to mirror the VCTK dataset format. Use the next cell to download the Your TTS model, which may take a few minutes. It's about 400 megabytes. Load TensorBoard using the next two cells. It may take a few minutes to appear. Once you begin training, you can use TensorBoard to look at the training progress and to listen to generated audio samples. Run the next cell to import your libraries and to set a few variables. And then use the next cell to resample the audio files before training.
The next cell will set up the audio configuration and model arguments. In the model arguments, there are a couple of options that can be toggled, but I haven't looked at them enough to comment on how they affect the model training. And then the next cell will require a little bit of editing on your part. You can adjust the save steps and various training options here, but most importantly for this script here is that you'll need to edit the test sentences to reflect your dataset. You can just leave everything else the same, but change the name of your voice from bctk underscore duke and bctk underscore cash to bctk underscore whatever your speaker names are. The next cell calls the speaker manager and loads the external speaker encoder. Normally this is done behind the scenes, but doing it here seems to overcome whatever problem I was running into before. I'll use the speaker manager and language manager to export the model metadata, then set a few configuration variables based on the dataset, save the configuration file, and then reload it. The next cell will initialize the model from the loaded configuration, and then we can initialize the trainer with the next cell. This is using an external speaker encoder, so from my understanding it's normal to see that the speaker encoder layers aren't being loaded here. And then if we click the final cell, we'll begin training. Model checkpoints will appear in the trainer output directory under your dataset folder on your Google Drive. And if you start a tensor board, you can use the audio tab to listen to test sentences from the config file as the model trains. Use the refresh button on tensor board to reload the latest logs. They should. Yeah, you know The Python script linked in the description is just the basic training recipe from the repo with the speaker manager modification added. There's no dataset processing here, so you'll have to use the Colab link for that, and then download your audio files. Set the paths to ones appropriate for your environment, change the speaker names to ones appropriate for your dataset, and then run the script to begin training. If you've installed TensorBoard, you can launch it with TensorBoard double dash logdir and then your dataset directory slash trainer output if you've used the paths in the script. Before training, you'll need to download the pre-trained your TTS model checkpoint. You can do that by launching the command line application. To synthesize speech with your model, you can use the command line interface by launching the command line tool and specifying the outpath generated for the WAV file the model path to your fine-tuned model, the config file of the fine-tuned model, and the speaker's file from your dataset, and whichever speaker name you'd like to use. Here's a sample of a two-voice dataset fine-tuned for about 20,000 steps. The transcripts were a little messy for this one, so the results could be better. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or confer anyone. I should like to help everyone, if possible, to get a black man with. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and displace one another. In this world there is room for it. And the good earth is rich and can collect for everyone. The way of light can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Rita's poison men souls has barricaded the world with head as ghosts stepped us into misery and bludge. We have developed speed but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in one. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness hurt and uncanny. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery we eat humanity. More than cleverness, we eat kindness and kindliness. Without these qualities, life will be viewed and all will be lost. Well, that's about all I wanted to cover today. If you give the script a shot, let me know how things go down in the comments. And if you find these kinds of videos helpful, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.